All right. Good morning, third graders. It's Mrs. Farrell and Patrick. We are here Hi. today to do a number talk for you using Steve Wyborny's Cube Conversations. So uh, we're going to take you through a couple of these today. Uh, whenever you need to pause to give yourself some time to think, please do so. So for today, we're going to look at this um, shape right here or this structure. So the question is, how many unit cubes make up this structure? Explain how you know. So I'm going to ask you to pause here and try to figure that out. When you're ready, come back and we will talk through some thoughts. Are you ready? Do you have an idea of how many unit cubes make up this structure? Yeah. Okay, what's your answer? 12. Okay, Patrick says 12, so you can imagine if you agree with Patrick, maybe you have a different number of unit cubes. Why do you think 12, Patrick? Because there's two right here, and then I know there's two under there, and then another two is six, and then two, and then another two is um, 10, and then 12. Okay, so you saw these two, and you knew there were two behind it. These two, two behind it. These two, two behind it. Well, or I guess you could just do like two times Two times six. Oh, why would you do two times six? Because you know that there's two behind every single one, so you just count this. And... One behind every single one? Yeah. Right? Okay. And, and then you just count it, and you could just do two times six. Okay, so we know that there are two layers that we're looking at here. Patrick sees six cubes here in the front, and he knows that those same six are in the back. So he chose to do just two groups of those six. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. How else could you see it? Um, you can, like the two strategy. Or if you have a different way, how else might we know um, there are 12? 4, 8, 12. Oh, okay. So you counted by four. So you knew there were four in this column. So you could do four times three. Oh, four in this column and four in this column. And there are three columns. So four times three equals 12. Okay. Any other ways? Um, well... I guess you could imagine like it just being a square with two there, two there, and two there. And then, so you know that that's going to be um, 18. Oh, I see. So you're pretending that there are some here, some here, and, and some here. Minus six. Oh, is 12. okay. So you're imagining if we made it a square, mm -hmm. right, then there would be nine here times two is 18, and then you're subtracting the two, four, six here. Very cool. I was thinking you could even imagine moving these two up here, and then you're looking at six and six behind it again. Just hmm. another way to look at six and six. Okay, so let's look at some of the ways Steve Wyborn, you saw it. Oh, so this is one, of, this is the second or third option you shared. Four. Four, four, and four. So four times three. This is kind of like the first one you had shared, right? Seeing the front and mm -hmm. then just multiplying it by two because you know it's two layers. Another way you could do it. We didn't really talk about this one, did we? Six plus six. Six plus six. So almost like bringing those two up, I guess, kind of what I was saying there at the end. So those are three different ways you could have seen it. And you may have seen it a lot of different ways too. I like how Patrick attached some different equations to it whether it was six times two or four times three, we're also reminded that six times two and four times three are equivalent. Very good. Okay, so let's see how many total number of unit cubes are there. 12. 12 is correct, very good. All right, so let's look at one more. Again, go ahead and pause if you need to. And when you're ready, come back and we'll take a look. Um, so one strategy I did is I did... Well, how many do you think there are, first of all? Um, I think there are 14. Okay, so what's your strategy? So first, you, one strategy I did is, so I know there's 6 in front, and then times 2 mm -hmm. is 12, and then plus 2 is 14. Okay, so um, if we look at these slides... See, why Borny gives us four different options down here that we could fill in different ways. Are those the same? They're all the same same structure. Unfortunately, since we're not all together, I can't um, hear from everybody, but I'm going to go ahead 
and come over to this drawing and pat see if I can kind of show you what Patrick's thinking was using um, some different colors here. So you're saying you can do six. So these front six would be blue. That's one grouping. Kind of hard to and color them in. And then plus two. Yeah, you got to pick a different color. And then you're saying these two would be a different group. Mm-hmm. So six times two plus two. And then, so the ones in the back would be a different color. So these ones behind would be yellow. Certainly not as um, well done as Steve Wyborn's, but <laughs> we try it. Okay, so that's one way we could look at it. Is there another way you can think of looking at it? Hmm. Well, you can just do like a two strategy. Okay. So you mean what do you mean by that? Or, well, you can do like three times two is six, and then four times two is eight, and then eight plus six is 14. Okay, so you're saying we could look at it by column. Mm -hmm. So here's my yellow. Sorry, I know it's sloppy. We could look at this column, which we know is four. And then we can look at this column which we know is also four. So you're saying we could add, oh, check says he has one too, hold on. So we could look at six yellows plus four reds, which we know is 10 plus another four is 14. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Jack, you wanna share? Mm -hmm. What would you do? Six plus eight, so six right there and then, and then eight. Oh, right good job, Jack. He's Jack, our kindergartner. He thought of an, a way too. So he saw the six over here, the three plus three in this column. And then this is a nice cube here, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So he saw that this is four and four, which is eight. Those are your doubles, right? You're starting mm -hmm. to think about your doubles, yeah. right? So he saw the six plus the eight over here. And six plus eight equals? Um, yeah. 14. 14, very good, all right. So those are some different ways we could look at it. Let's go back to our PowerPoint and see. Let's see what the reveal is. It is 14. All right. Hope you enjoyed the cube conversation no, to today. Steve oh, he doesn't show us for this one, actually. Oh. Yeah, we showed him our way. All right. Have a great day.